Hello everyone. Um, tonight I am playing the SA University Chess A section team battle. And you can see here is my team, NWU Poch Chess. We've got some players that have joined, Anika, Hani, Gudani, Ivan, new player, Nielis. The usual suspects of our team are not here yet. Um, future GM de Villiers, Almaru, Irionis, Irion, and Mark hasn't been playing for a while, so that has been tough. And so I played a few games to get all the bad games out of my system right now. And okay, there's not really time for another game. I just played a very terrible game. Um, I got the queen quite early in this position. I could have probably gone for a different type of exchange. But the queen felt good. And then I just messed around, really. The position should have been easily winning, but I felt I had the queen, so I really didn't put in the effort to figure out how to um, activate the light pieces. And then, well, we got into a time scramble eventually. And I blundered a piece, but managed to win in any case. You know, allowing this, I blundered the pawn, kind of. But then I thought this would be compensation. But as soon as the bishop came here, especially because he included the move b4, then c4 never really seemed like a good option. But I guess in hindsight, maybe it could have been played. Oh, and I didn't realize the rating of the guy. OK, so my blitz rating is still very weak at the moment. Hopefully I can bring it up. And another issue that um, I'm having at the moment is internet connection. And maybe I could, no, I can't really show you. But okay, I've got sound by hotspot um, in case my modem fails. It usually will fail sometime during the tournament when I've got a streak, so that's a bit depressing. <laughs> we, we already know it will fail, so psychologically prepared for that and okay well it's getting close to the start um i want i want to try for first place tonight um it's three plus one so berserking is really really stupid unless your internet is fine and it's, as it says there my internet is just poor but i don't know it, it doesn't maybe know how to read my modem speed maybe berserking might not be the worst of ideas and okay, we, we all have some, took some rating hits, my CR as well, 50 points. We usually 2200s by the time this tournament gets going. And it could be that more people are playing online and affecting our rating. I just haven't been playing a lot, um, been busy with chess videos instead. Okay, so three minutes to start. It says Madiba's in first place, but we, we expect UCT, UCT to take the cup. Chess buddy. Um, trying to remember who this is. This guy that did well at our previous Usas. Um, I'll remember his name as, as we get to it, get to the games going. But okay, UCT players. Um, and okay, they're, they're all pretty, pretty strong. Um, and that's usually what gets them up there. They've got a few players that are rated 2000, not really 2100 plus. But then at the end of the day, that's that's actually um, the only thing that, that matters, um, having a few 2,000 plus pluses. We we have like two, maybe. And a lot of the other universities also have two, but then they're stronger, they're like 2,200s. And then the rest are like 1,600s. While UCT's got a good average up there and, and that makes a big difference. Um, I'm expecting these these two to be big competition to, tonight. The Eagle Man himself, I'm not always sure who this guy is. Um, put a good score against him. And then Fall University has joined us, VUT. And they've actually been quite a problem. Um, they're new on the scene, doing really well. I hope our university doesn't do too badly. Don't know if my players are going to join. But there's not much you can do about that. Maybe the new guy shows some potential. Though he's a 1400, we'll see. And okay. 
I could rejoin and, and probably start in third place, or I just got some a few more rating points while playing, I should say. So, yeah, 27, so I should be third. Um, but I'm, okay, I'm not going to leave and then join now. In less than a minute to go. And Tata, Varsity, Chess Club. I haven't seen them before. UK is it ever usually there. And also, as I said, the, the real outliers are actually, they aren't really two strong players tonight, um, according to the rating system. But these guys, they, they play good classical chess. They're not really made for blitz. That's why Masia has been taking the Usa's blitz cup um, consecutively. On the second page, we still have 20 hundreds. The start of the 1900s. So it's it's, re it's a relatively good tournament. Ticks bringing two 2000s, three 2000s. So their prospects seem good tonight. And it's nearly liftoff. Okay, so strategy. I'm not berserking um, anyone over 1700. So that's my idea for tonight. Okay, and we've got first game. I think this is a tax layer, calls in or something. Okay, we got e4, e5, 93, 96, bishop c4. Now we're getting the two knights. Okay, or I was going to say the Italian game. Okay, and he comes prepared for the two knights. He wants um, a worse position, but he wants to give me some nonsense with this line. And I think maybe he's won a game like this before. So bishop b3 is not that great. Um, and now I've renewed my threat of knight f7. And I'm never sure of to play knight f7 now. Okay. So how was it? We, we got to we got to find out by losing probably. Okay, and the piece can't be taken. I don't know why I'm pre-moving that. Three plus one. Okay, the standings of my players are here. We'll see. We'll see when they get their games in. And maybe he blundered this. Um, but I'm, I'm expecting something nasty on this square. If knight takes and bishop sack, king takes knight sack, knight check, double check, and then it should almost be game over for me. So maybe I can just avoid taking the bishop, or maybe I should just castle first. It seems it seems um seems decent. Another rook can move, but I'm probably just moving with tempo again, and that's the point. Queen e1 is fine in these lines, covering the e4 pawn. He's not really affecting my life so badly. Maybe knight e4 with this threat. Okay, maybe I was wrong. Maybe this isn't too great. Because this is a queen trap. So maybe I should go give up the exchange with d3. And claim somehow that after knight takes there, I've got b4. And I can recapture the knight, and being this exchange down might not be forever, because I've got that there. I already learned with my queen trap, so I think d3 is the only responsible move. Okay, now we might have options of knight e2. Um, okay. So I guess I guess he can make it complicated through this. If he wants to capture here, then I'm saving the exchange. His king is still in the center. C3, D4 ideas. He can pick this up, right? Or should I insert a check? Does that do anything? No, the guy's just being tricky. The check doesn't really do anything. Not sure. If he's going to use this edge file, don't attempt him to. So I've got the worst worst side of this position. Probably b4 is a necessary move, followed by a4. Okay, now I'm not too sure what he's doing. He wants to pile up here, maybe. But if I go rook takes, knight takes. I've got a queen check as well. Queen check, what does he do? Uh, I think the queen check's a mistake. Definitely a mistake, but I, I want to play it. 
So this movie is king, but now that rook takes, knight check. Well, that's also over. Because the knight takes with check. This is now a threat. How to deal with this? Rook takes, knight takes, check. Can't do that. Did I fall for some putts of line here? I think so. Maybe bishop here. And maybe I shouldn't recapture the knight. Maybe I should go with the queen. Make things as devilishly difficult as possible. There might be some funny business here. What's the story? Can I play knight here? Thirteen queen takes. Because I, I guess he's taking this knight in any case. And now I've reached the position where... Okay, maybe taking here is fine now. Okay, and it's increments, so it's plus one per move. Okay, so I might have this. No, this is, this is a nightmare. The knight's not taking any material immediately, right? So I, I need to... I need to stay out of this knight's way, and he's going to put some time pressure up, so... Bishop takes. Rook there. I need to find a way to keep material. Maybe just rook takes was better. Ah! See, that's annoying. Oh, this is this is probably now over. Okay, I can decide to waste time on this game, or I can go back. No, this this went wrong. Let's play one or two more moves. Play till move thirty. Uh, my prospects are still low. Or is nine? Maybe I should go king g four. I don't have much to hope for. I'm down on the clock. Knight takes, maybe king takes. There are not any tactics here. Can go rook takes as well. Oh, maybe. Again. Wait, I just went there. That's why I was attacking the knight. I was thinking, wait, can I pick up the knight? Okay, I'm going to resign. Wait, I said one move. I'm giving him a chance to blunder. Is this a blunder? Ah, I don't know. I don't want to resign. It's so hard to resign. I'm just wasting time though. I need to get back. Running, there's there's not much. Okay, there's a mate. Okay, making it easier for me. Letting me not waste my time anymore. Okay, so Ivan, well done. You got a point, buddy. But you're playing 1400s. Is that you? Is that why you're so lucky? Um, bad start, but I was expecting a bad start. And now, luckily, we know my. I'm, I'm warmed up after starting with that zero. Okay, let's see who, who's doing well so far. Who should we be stopping? Okay, the eagle himself is a candidate to go stop. Okay, Thero, Bryce, what are we going? Well, how are you coming at me? Knight move, maybe. Theo, Thero, Bryce. Lucky boss that you got a good connection. Oh, I've also got one now. Thanks, maybe you blessed me. We'll go with the Dutch. Okay, and okay, this guy's this guy's prepared for the Dutch. He not taking any nonsense on the Dutch. Um, and and usually I go h6 and, and test the guy's prep. But someone removing this move against the Dutch, they they're scary. These guys know what they're talking about. Immediately closes e5 for me. But he doesn't go e4 himself, which could be a long term a long term thing. Now, this pawn is, is loose, and I should keep that in the back of my head. This move can come one day. Okay, but until then, we'll, we'll just... We'll just improve our position. Queen b6, maybe a5 first. Well, let's go a5. Well, the, the, rook, the rook is staring at the pawn a bit further, and now... And now this is a better move. I think this pawn is more stuck than it was. Okay, and now my spidey senses are tingling. 
But something says just parcel first. H is maybe. Wait till wait till there's really something. Okay, now now maybe is the moment. We go here. Bishop takes. We go knight takes. Maybe we're winning a pawn because the queen might have to desert this spot. Okay, so that's how the pawn's defended. But now we've got e5, and I'm pretty sure we have it. There should be these two knights are defending. The bishop's also now open. Okay. F6. E4. Got knight here as well. Take the pawn, takes the knight. What happens? You take here, you take there, we take here. Oh, that seems cool. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. And I'm trying to open up my bishop now. Okay, he, he senses he senses it's bad for him. Maybe rightly so. Okay, and, and somehow I'm in a time deficit again. This knight is going to be beautiful on the square. Queen c7 may be necessary almost. Okay, so let's anticipate this nonsense. And maybe he's plans just to pin now. Obviously, that's the plan. I don't know why I'm saying maybe. Okay. So we'll take the double pawns, please. And we'll get our knight here, please, sir. And, okay. These double pawns, not too bad. I can open up my other pieces. Okay, and he maybe wants to go to e8. But I've got bishop d2, b, b ah, 7 then. Okay, bishop e8, bishop e7. Okay, he doesn't want to go for this. Okay, and I've got a bishop pair. Double pawns though. My rook wants to be happy here. Also, queen needs to go out that square. And how are you entering? Is this the, is this the thing? Is this the thing? Maybe, maybe after an idea I can take, and then that's... I don't really need to know. Oh, it's your position. How are you going to play it? After my queen takes that pawn. I mean, I've weakened the seventh. Maybe not worth it, but even the queen, queen trade, that's also there. And the second is now weakened first. This foul is a, is a big schlep now. I, I did not reason correctly. Okay. Okay. Maybe it's just game over again. For the night here. Oh, this is a huge problem. I'm probably getting mated. No. Why why am I wasting the first half hour of this tournament every time? And then berserking and then getting some points there. Players have been losing respect for me. Been chopping me. Oh, this would have been nice if it was a light square. So probably the mate is the check and then mate. So I could resign the knight here. Because then he sees the mate. Not a pleasant game. Not a pleasant game. And I'm not I think the Dutch it, it went wrong after that whole queen idea of mine to take that pawn. But maybe he, he had the right idea of going for um, the knights against the bishops in that position. Okay, and, and let's see how the other guys are doing. We've got this player Lost Souls. I don't know who that is. No, I suspect. Okay, so I suspect this guy's from UJ. I don't know why. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to draw a bunch of arrows while we wait. Potential moves that we might see in the game. We'll see how many of the arrows I got correct. So the guy's annoying. He waits, he waits his full time before playing. And the time I wait is there because of the network connection. Okay, we've got another Dutch on board. Let's see if, if it treats me better this time. And I said I'd berserk everyone. I won't berserk if he's higher than 1700. And this guy, he's made, he's made the cut to not be berserk. But I, I'm feeling pretty desperate. Berserking might not be that far off, even against. 
I might, I might change that rule to 1800 plus soon. And I've got the same annoying thing. I wonder if people have been prepping the Dutch recently. Okay, we'll take the square, try e5 then. And now the question is if e5 immediately does anything. And I'm thinking it's maybe better to just take first. Okay, but if he takes. And now this rook is probably the issue. But okay. Hmm. You do probably go bishop takes. Okay, let's go bishop takes. I want to defend this one with my knight. Okay, but that's dropping this knight. Did you forget about your knight, sir? Poor knight. Forgot about him. Mm. Okay. We'll bring this, this bishop back. Get the... No, no, no. This could get nasty. Why, why am I not calculating? Where was this bishop? Why didn't he check me earlier? Was that not a piece? No. Okay, so that's a made threat on g1. And my knight spinned. So we need to we need to regroup for a moment. And I don't think these are real threats. Obviously, bishop here is a th oh, no wait, that bishop's blocked for the time being. Okay, now, okay. When a guy is attacking, you need to try and trade and develop, counter-attack. So the rook is going to be guarding here soon. So my queen is going to be free. And this one can't be taken because of the pin. And it gets defended, but the pin is pieces. Pieces of piece. And how am I playing with this? More trades? Are you sucking your rook? What's your master plan? Mr. Chess Man, UJ Chess. You know the guy's good if he's got the word chess in his name twice. <clears throat> okay, so this is actually a draw if I capture here. Uh, and no, this is actually lost if I go for this bishop because I've just queen there, checkmate. So I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to lose the game yet. It's actually an annoying position because I probably just need to defend a pawn first. You know, we'll ask my opponent some questions now. Just in a sec, after after I've done being scared of losing this first win of the tournament. It's, it's not the way to get slotted. Maybe queen takes, but then queen there. So this guy's a scary player. But has he forgotten... Has he forgotten that I've 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 been protecting the square for a while now? And then that is just the rook. Clean rook. Okay, so this guy has got absolutely no regards for his pieces. And we'll start disregarding his king in a second as well. I'd probably sack something here now. Get game over. Well, and this is how you defend a rook buddy, like that. <laughs> okay, check. There's no perpetual after takes. And now, maybe if he runs with the king, it's his best bet. There's not a mate immediately, but the bishop falls. Okay, he resigns. Thanks for the rating point and two points at 51. Okay, we can do better than this. Where's my university at? Seventh. Okay, and. And some of us haven't got points yet. But some strong players joining now. And another 1700. To berserk or not to berserk? Let's, let's just get a streak first. As soon as I press the berserk button, the internet is going to fail. Okay. And even to make one. It's lost Souls Fella as well. Ninga has a position. She's getting another point. This seems fair. You guys can't see that. Sorry. D4. E4. I've got a feeling Bishop G7, F3, we're going to have a repeat of the game I just played before the tournament. Some people castling both, ah, castling, fianchettoing and castling both sides. E6, another game, I think D6 was the move. I will go Knight F3. F5 after maybe just castles, F5. 
anticipates f5. Yeah, but we'll give him f5. Okay, here's f5. Take the pawn. Take back. Let's start. We want to, we want to start attacking you. So we, we're gambiting this pawn probably for the center or the f7 pawn. I'm not sure which one is going to be used. By the looks of it, we, we want to use the e-file now. After knight here, bishop there. And a point we could make is that... Hmm, I saw this, but I didn't think he was going to play it. It's a simple move. Okay. This is annoying, because if castles now... The idea was just to prevent castling for the time being. Okay, but maybe, maybe we've made some... Some room to start an attack here. Okay, but this this move is maybe wasting time. So now we've got the move queen e2. And now I'm doing what I originally intended to do. If he goes king like this, then maybe he's found a way. Oh, he wants to go queen side. A devious, devious player. So take the pawn before you go queen side, please. So you want to start attacking no matter where you go. Okay, now. Oops, should have taken the pawn. We're getting this piece. Uh oh. So, a simple idea. Keep him from castling. If he does castle, win a piece. Yeah, we're getting another win. It's kind of a cheap trick, maybe. People. I don't know how sound it is. If you had taken, you need to use another move to get castle. Okay, so he goes for something funny, but doesn't work. Trying all sorts of ways to get the queens off the board now. Mm, I might be potentially a bit exposed now, somehow. Somehow this could be funny, but I'm not seeing it. Okay, rook. It's expecting your rook to come in. Okay. Let's play knight here. Defends the pawn. Connects the rooks. Defends the pawns. Open the file, defense the bishop, ah, the knight. Okay. He wants to trade. Will we give him the trade? With the point being that we'll just we'll attack the e-file as well. And we'll go bishop takes. So, yeah, are there any problems now? Okay, now the rook's off. And the minor might start to show now, the minor piece. We need to reroute this knight into the game, start an attack. Use the extra piece better than we're doing currently. Okay, this is this is a good point of departure. Thank you, Mr. King Activity. He felt King Activity is important in this position. I don't know what I could really Suggest for him instead. Okay, maybe just bringing the knight in. Queen takes there, is that an issue? Or maybe just start with the takes. Okay, and I could move into the endgame if I really want to. But keeping queens around for now seems fine. I mustn't use too much time. Queen trades. The end game could be drawn in some cases, those two pawns. So I need to I need to work out more of an initiative. So centralizing the knight. At the moment the pawn's gonna be gone. But I even guess this knight e4 move could could be damaging. Because then I should play with the fact that okay, well, okay, I'm not going knight e4. The knight here. Oh did okay, that wasn't a plunder, I was thinking knight there. But this knight was covering the mate as well, so I could move my queen away. Okay. Now he's gotten three pawns for my knight. And 
I'm doing nothing about this position. I'm just chilling. My pieces are defended. I'm going to make progress against the king now. It's stopped. If we trade into a pawn versus queen endgame, I'm not sure what the outcome is. This game has been more annoying than I than I hoped. Okay. Just do something. Gonna make a move. And now we need to win. <sighs> this is such a darn difficult position. But now I think these guys defending the pawn first might have been. Okay. Maybe just running the king over to the Queen side, and then hoping the bishop defends well enough. Okay, so I want to get my king there. Maybe pawns on these two squares. So bishop here, or to start with pawn here first, maybe. Hmm. How, if I take and you move up, am I going to stop you? Oh, the guy's, this guy's tricky. Let's stop that pawn first. Let's see how this king enters. I'm not too sure how. Now I'm threatening to take. The spawn running isn't an issue. And the king needs to step in first. Oh, this is tricky. It's probably a draw. I'm not stopping the spawn. I've landed. Please move your key. <laughs> oh, that's painful. Okay, make your queen. Maybe in some weird world I can I could probably Achieve something here. I don't know. This amount of this amount of increments is too much. I mean, oh. Seven seconds. The guy's just running through the queens. Maybe there's a lucky still made, but eight seconds. This is it's got to be too much to learn. This no, I went the wrong way. Uh, come on, queens. No, still made. No, still made. Back to tournament. Okay. Changing my standards. I'm berserking the next under 1800. I'm not playing aggressive enough against them because I'm not feeling the heat. Getting comfortable positions like that one, when you've got the bishop. Blundering stuff like that pawn just moving through. Uh, it's not the best. Okay, and we get this guy again. We're just gonna berserk. Chess man, UJ, sorry. This is gonna be ugly if my internet holds up. Either way, it's gonna be ugly whether I win or lose. Okay, what are you doing? That's this nonsense. What? It's D3. Okay, maybe. D5 before castles, D6 before castles. I, don't, I want to do something different than he's been doing. This type of thing, I don't want to play A5 soon. Maybe even H6. Uh, I, I don't regard this as being the strongest thing to do with the opposition. All of, all of these moves on the queen side. Okay, and, and stuff is real now because. Obviously, I've been pre-moving and I've already lost seven seconds because of the internet. Don't remember where I've been thinking. Oh, maybe that, that was at one spot where... But I was at 123, I'm at 121. I'm going to be watching my time now. Because I'm going to blame this on the internet. <laughs> it's a bad sport, that is usually. 
Oh, the berserks. Okay, so let's let's try and be sneaky. A little mate here. But putting a mate on one in one threat on the board is always a good idea. And then prying open the center on an open exposed king is a good idea. Like pawn sacks like these are pretty pretty sound. It's not a mate in one threat anymore, should be noted. And my queen needs to retreat. We go here. I might need to recapture. Okay, so let's let's vacate some squares our pieces. Queen, queen, where are you going? Need to guard that square. This is queen, and then I'm taking there with check. Thank you very much. I'm gonna take there, there's nothing here. There's not a, is there? No. Need a, like a black a dark squared bishop or something. Oh, this guy, this guy. Provoking me to beat you. Now you have to probably go queen takes d3 and walk into some discovery. Okay, but now this is this is the worst of the options. I think no matter what you play, is this even an option? Three pawns. This knight is and queen have to guard e2. The knight. Just thinking what, okay, firstly he needs to figure out this. this okay, he resigns, thank you. Okay, so my new policy is to berserk under 2000. I'm changing it. <laughs> and the pressure is definitely on them to move quickly to really punish me for my decision to play so quickly and keeping up with the speed usually forces blunders. So we'll have another berserker. Berserker, please. Berserker, who's, who talks like that? And okay, what will be our first move? We'll go e5 again. And okay, I'm not too sure about this there, what he's going to do. Okay, so we, we, we have a Royal Lopez. And okay, I've used two seconds. We'll go f, f6. Just defend that one. And I'm sure it's the worst move you can probably think, possibly think of in that position. Okay. And pieces are defended, and you're getting castled. You have some. You have something. These squares are still covered, and that's the pawn, thank you. And okay, the bishop. The bishop's protected, and the pawn on c6 is doing a good job of keeping the knight out, and we've got squares for the bishop to move to. And nothing to be afraid of yet. Um, let's, let's do this, and then try and get, oh yeah, this was a bad idea. That's why I don't berserk. Oh, I shouldn't berserk. Why did I go c5? Okay, I've got this discovery now. Depending on what happens, okay, that's what happens. And he's helped me a lot. Thank you, sir. And okay, let's. Am I up a pawn or something? I'm up two pawns. Let's go to the end game. Okay, you want to open your king like that? Okay, this is close to some cool mate. So let's try and get rid of that knight and then play bishop e4. Okay, so it might be closer than we think. Though the, the, rook, the rook wants to exchange itself for a bishop at some point, whether it's on this square or not. But we'll keep we'll keep, keep both threats going. So the threat is kind of rook takes, rook there, and then bishop here. And I want to keep this bishop around to box this king in. And I think it works. Maybe even rook there first. And point being that you can't really do anything about bishop e4. Okay, and let's see it on the board. The check, I was thinking I'd walk to this square, and there shouldn't be anything, even the pin does nothing, because the idea is to have the last say on the G2 square. Okay, and this is this is where I got to, roughly. And these types of ideas, they, they don't do anything to my mind. Probably rook back, and then bishop takes. And I'm, I have a comfortable game. This is, this is also one. One in the bag, one in the hand. Okay, no moves yet. He's figuring out my ingenious plan. And the king is safe from also attacking a piece. There are the Grandmaster arrows. And now we wait. 
Okay. I, th I think I think after this game I'm back in the tournament. I don't think I'm in the lead or anything, but I, I'm getting five points if I'm not mistaken. Uh, three. No, I'm on fire at the moment. I'll get five for this. Put me at ten, and then and then okay, we'll see in terms of the tournament what happens. But half of the tournament is gone. I think it's an hour and a half, and the 45 minutes left if I'm doing the maths correctly. And the one second increment really changes the, the style of the tournament to my mind. Okay, this is this is a bit ugly, just waiting out the time. This is probably someone I will be reporting to the other unis. Liminiana, bad sportsmanship. Sitting in a mate in, in, a, in a few, or at least a decent rook loss after rook d4. d4. Maybe even after rook d4, I've, I've... No, okay. You don't want to cause more trouble in this position. So this person is honestly just going to wait out their time. This is very poor sportsmanship. These people do it so that their unis can score more points while they're keeping your players captive. And the thing is, if they enter more players, then they can keep the other good players captive for the whole tournament. And okay, that was, that was a bit mean. I'm not impressed. Oh, so I'm only on fire now. There was a gap between my two Berserk games. Okay, that puts you at eight. At least, okay, five for the next game then, because I'm probably Berserking the next one. And the Eagle himself flying away there. He's already he's already went through the mental stage of Berserking a few people. But I'm at eight. I'm, I'm only it's on the fourth page. And this is bad. It's bad, 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 bad. Okay, so we will be disrespecting the next under 2000 as well. Ah. Oh. Pity. Pity your rating is just, just, just too high. Not really. 84 points now. Okay, so this is called the Karukan Advanced Variation. Good knight c3 and off the move. We get g4. And we, the two of us haven't played before. 1999, same age as I am. And same poor internet seems. No, I've got better internet. So it should be a win. Okay, now h4. It works h5, and you hit this bishop and this pawn, and taking the pawn is really walking into death itself. And I actually had a game over the board at Usas with a similar variation. I think c5 instead of knight here. It's like he's getting this person's getting a worse variation of that. So okay, the pawn is defended a few times, and my my plan is to play bishop h3. And okay. Probably I should have done something else because temporarily this might, it seems terrible. It's, it's blocking this square. And I've allowed it to get here, but this is probably still really good for me. So, okay, this player and I could probably concede that, that this knight is better than this bishop, so he's not gonna capture the bishop. And he, he goes for this, which I saw, but I didn't have a lot of respect for this move. Um, there wasn't an immediate discovery, unfortunately, because of the rook hanging in the corner. So queen f3, now the threat is this. And maybe after knight takes, I've got a tricky move. But I need to be careful because the knight captures the check first and then maybe the queen moves and everything's okay. So I'm not going to, after knight takes, play the discovery. Oh, and this is nice. It forces me to go queen takes because the pawn's pinned. Okay, so let's let's reevaluate this. Knight takes there, knight takes. Okay, but I'm really down a piece, so uh, I'm not seeing that. Um, he goes back here, maybe. Ah, this is this is pretty pretty annoying. Okay, so this is. Definitely a favorable position for me in either case. Don't know if the spawn should have been nipped. Because this comes with tempo against the queen, actually. Maybe a bit greedy. Felt that I was thinking long. Didn't have any ideas up my sleeve. And yeah, should be You're from the UK ZN. I think so. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so you want to make the most with this move. Um, okay, ideally, you'd want to do more than this. So it's like you, you annoying guy, you quite annoying. You with your in-betweeners. Okay. Nothing concrete yet. We seem to be pretty equal. I'll I'll try and castle king side queen side. <laughs> Does he anticipate that? I I I have highly doubted. Okay, no. the knight wants to get into your position, please. It's knocking on your door. Okay, we've got 40 minutes left. I'm on fire. Am I playing knight there? Losing this piece with check? Maybe the idea is just, just to move it for the time being. There's a check and then king moves and then takes and then takes. Pawn takes. Well, I kind of like that position. My the the file opens up for the rook in some lines. If he if he goes this side, okay. And then we're asking him. Well, you you're the one that suggested the the exchange sack. So you show me what it's about. And he sacks a piece. I'm pretty sure of it. And he's shaking his head now. He plays something desperate like that. But that walks into the following queen fork. There you go. I'm not going for your rook, buddy. I'm going for your queen. And then you take my rook. I'm taking the central pawn. Your rook's not entering. I've defended my piece. Oh, you, you're a tricky man. It's a tricky man, this guy. And so we'll take this pawn first. And he, he he's not keen for resigning today. He doesn't want to resign. Okay. Ah, those are the magic words. So I've got four points for that. Puts me in 12 points. And people are saying that Carlson is Keith Kumalu. And I'm not too sure. I've had two bad games against him. If it was really Keith, he'd <laughs> his rating would be higher, but obviously starting with this account. Did I say under 2000 get berserked? I have to stick with that now. 38 minutes to go. Okay, screw it. We'll, we'll, we'll berserk you. Yeah, so we've got a royal pairs. We'll go for the Norwegian variation. Okay, this guy is well prepped. Um, let's say knight comes out bishop b7. I'm not sure what to expect as a pre-move, but I need to, need to make some moves quickly. This does the same thing. It attacks the pawn. The rook is undefended, so there's a pin. Now the rook's defended, so you can attack that pawn. Oh, and I didn't want to go knight f6. Such a natural move to make, knight f6. But it's not the move I wanted to make in this this game. I want to go f6. Okay, what's this about? Uh, you want me to calculate. That's that's what it's about. Maybe knight. Uh, I'm still guarding all the dangerous squares for the time being. I was really hoping for, for pawn takes. Why didn't you want to play pawn takes? You're making me sweat. Okay, I've got, I've got some ideas now. My rig gets in. I don't know if pawn takes now was any good anymore. Oh, pawn takes then as well. He, he really helped me after I started begging for it. Just said pawn takes, please. And he listened. So knight there any isn't good anymore. So the queen needs to guard that square. And we know it. So we'll we'll attack that square again. Make stuff highly uncomfortable. The fire's on the board. We'll chase the screen away one more time. Oh this is a cute idea. Okay, let's let's go for this end game. It comes with check, you mess up white spawn structure, and oh, this is 
it should be winning. Try and get your rook here. Maybe, maybe I'm also just losing too many pawns in the meanwhile. Okay, but rook on the second and. Set up your mate in one threats if you can. Especially when you've berserked someone and they're defending a pawn in that awkward way. Okay. When both your rooks are on the second, you should gobble up some pawns, push this one up. He's gonna go for some check Garoni here, but remember you, you push push this pawn when attacking the queen. So you're you're good to go. You're good to go, you're good to go. Okay, maybe this is this is quite nice because you're picking up pawn up with checks, and he walks into a checkmate, and you berserked him, so you're getting you're getting five points, and that puts you in seventh place. And you really need to go catch this Coldson guy. Claims to be from Tix Chess. Um, the, the Daniel, it's probably Daniel Maré then. Okay, and and now I'm doing well, so I can. Just relax and take this game slow. Someone's playing the French against me. The 2100 got a good, uh, not a good score against this person. And the move here is e5. And now c5, now a6. And I saw a very interesting, interesting game by Henry Steele in this position. I'm not sure if Queen a5 was played immediately. Uh, this is this is annoying because I think I went queen g4 once here and then started picking up some pawns. And you don't really want to go knight to three. In most cases, you probably want to go knight h3. Keep your queen square open. Okay, so rook b1. I lost that pawn in the other game as well. And this is bad. This is bad. Let's go back and defend the pawn. We shut down this side of the board, so maybe we can start playing on the other side. We'll, we'll start with the g4. This knight isn't even coming close to that square. If he's going queen side, this is a big bummer for me. So I've already pushed these pawns. And he knows that. Okay, so I'm trying uh, trying something else in this game. It seems totally unprincipled. Okay, maybe it's still principled because my king's in the center and the center is closed. So I need to start some kind of flank idea, either of the flanks. The main main concern for both of us is our bishops. And he's he's actually lucky to have the knights in this game. They seem to be doing quite a lot. Okay, uh, for one for one I want to try and double. Just some pressure here. And the idea isn't to queenside castle, although I still can. I'm not going to Queen's Eye Castle. Um, so h5, rook b1, b6. And he's threatening to still bring his knight to f4. So I need to deal with this knight f4 threat. Maybe a preliminary h5, which can get challenged, but if my knight's on h4, then I could be better. The four ideas, I should really. Okay, who, who screens better? It probably is. It seems like this is more accessible than moving through double pawns. Okay, so he, he, he knows this is my plan, probably. And then he goes for this odd move. And really the only way for my knight into the position is here. And I'm, I think I should still stick to my original idea of keeping the knight out. Okay, he wants to pry open e5. I'm, I'm fine with that. This is a bit of a backwards pawn. And now the question is whether to go bishop takes or knight takes. Probably bishop takes. Because it's like a very big pawn. And he doesn't like that. So now my bishop needs to defend the knight. Or if I want to go bishop takes. And not seeing any more breaks for him other than something like f4. In fact, I could probably play g5. So he needs to do something here. After that takes, 
and knight takes and knight takes maybe rook f4 from him my queen is staring at a stupid square i take myself what's the issue g takes is that an issue but then he could prep this move but maybe I'll, maybe I'll just castle then if rook takes then i've got a similar position with knight there first and he's kind of blockaded himself and my knight is on an excellent square it's going to get challenged immediate, immediately i'm not sure who stands the better in the end game i'm not a french spe specialist the 2100 guy is he is he okay with his position do i need to castle He defends that pawn. Could he remove the knight? I need a I need a piece behind behind this bishop, I think. Oh, this was the the master's idea. Why am I missing such simple, simple, simple ideas? But then he's got knight to no, he really doesn't. Okay, so he, Knight there is strong because he, he can enter with his knight if he really wishes to. And how am I defending this one, honestly? I need to give it up. Well, this is such a bad thing to do. Why am I even playing? I missed this pawn was hanging. I was thinking knight f3 would be quite cool here. Maybe it still is. Rook f1 seems like the other option. You can't defend all your pawns. Okay, so maybe my point is that this bishop is still bad, so therefore I can continue playing. Um, oh, this is such such hard work. This queen's even entering like this now. This game feels like it's failing. He's even got mate ideas of this knight moves. Queens get off his down two pawns. Okay. Um, defending, so maybe maybe I can take now. That looks he wants to play this end game. No, he only wants to keep, keep the queens on because I'm under time pressure. So I could maybe still save myself, but who knows? These are sort of a lot of pawns. If I wanted to survive, maybe shouldn't. Um, Oh no, I'm lost. He misses it. It's stressful. Well, this is over. This is bad in game to go for. Well, you can't make so many pieces. You can just trade off my rook if you want.
No, it was not even a stalemate. Oh, that was cool. Cool way not to blunder the game. Okay. Well, the next 26 minutes, I think it's pretty serious. We need we need to berserk. This Colts and guy's just running away. But I can't berserk this guy. This it's just mental. I'm setting up policy and then not keeping to it. It's one thing to like berserk an eighteen hundred, but these guys up here, they pry on you. They they're really hoping for you to berserk. Um this pawn gets defended like this. You don't want to defend him with the A pawn because of the, the file opening up. This is the theory here. I have no idea. This was wrong. I did something wrong. I just want to hold on to that extra pawn for a while. It's just. <laughs> Feel how it feels like to be a pawn up. Okay, this might this might be something because there's not a light squared bishop around anymore. You take that pawn I go here. You give me that check I go king f1. Okay, you don't give me that check. You don't go king f1. Now I could probably deal with a check going right there. Yeah, this doesn't seem nice. But d4 doesn't exist. Just take it. Okay, he's trying something tricky. And it's confused me. But you know what, Bill? We'll, we'll attack some pieces and we'll figure out what's going on in a second. We've definitely got an asset on this side of the board. We need to use it. Okay, so that's being attacked. These guys are playing aggressive. Maybe a potential flight square now. Okay. So I want to use this bishop differently than what I've been doing in the game, allowing him to capture there. This is a good move. But is f4 a better move? 23 minutes to go. Zero berserk here. Okay, Pule started playing. Irion is playing. We've got some people in, in the house. Irion with 8 points there. Pule with 11. Anika with 10. Okay. What's this? Oh, that's cool. Is it cool? Because my rook's hanging. Oh, wait. That's, it's not cool, man. Don't beat me like this. It's not cool. I missed, I missed that. That was, that was quite a nice idea. But is this better, allowing this double pawn? Or is it better to try and keep more pieces on the board? Probably need a stronger player to tell you. Okay, and now I just want to simply pick up another pawn. Knight takes pawn. I'm conceding that this is something. Okay, and, and this is cool. I was hoping for this. And he lets me actually hold on to this pawn. And this is a weakness. I'm still going after it. F6 is a strange choice. H4, this bishop this might get a home even on f2. Uh, or, 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 or. Careful, careful, careful. This is a good distance from a knight. You won't attack immediately. Rook here, is this, is this how I'm losing? It's not nice to see your death, to know how you're going to die. But rook there, queen there. Rook needs to move or something, and then I've got this threat. He needs to maybe even go back. 
this is a piece, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, this is a piece. And I'm taking it. Thanks. There's a plan to go F2. Let me look here in this. Okay, so something went wrong. He blundered. Oh, this is, I'm, I'm blundering back. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> oh. In those movies, I go, darn it. This is what I'm feeling now. Okay, so it's a, it's a battle of who's going to blunder the least. Queen takes, I've got this, and then I'm winning. If the rook moves, I've got that. Rook probably there is your option. Your last bet. Maybe rook here. I really want to get rid of this guy, and get this one going as well. Okay, and, and we're reaching... Hmm, that was good. Okay, so let's put our rook behind our pause pawn. Behind, behind. And if rook takes... Okay, so now we're getting a situation, similar situation to the one I was describing as me liking. So queen check, or rook check, or whatever, king there, and then if the spawn is nipped, and bishop here, and my arrows are very confusing. Okay. Oh. Need to move this bishop. Oh, that's that's a one painful move to see. What do you need to do here? Because now this I didn't time out. You guys saw that move go through. Okay, that's it. Okay, 20 minutes, that's the cutoff. Screw, screw everything. Now it's just berserk. No matter, now, now I'm really holding myself accountable to berserk. It's just. This is like my magical power. And put there, well done. You above me now. You've got none on the top page from our team. Easy. Text chess guy. Yo, these guys are playing insane. How? How is that? Yo. Okay, so I'm, I'm done with this nonsense. Screw your 2100 rating. You're really getting it now. The guy's moving quickly. Knight there, probably just need a retreat. Ah, all that, that nice fancy queen stuff on, in vain. You really want to go this route. There's no weird thing there, the king takes. No, oh, we need to go king takes. Okay, I think that the speed is going to get to me around about now. Been holding okay. 
Aufbauen. Try and get flat one as a boss one. But maybe allowing this e5 move. Really, he really, he really needs to go rook takes. To do that. Pick up a piece, please. Okay, so the 2100. Is he going to make life unbearable now? So centralizing the king. King e6 is, is the plan now. I'm leaving this pawn for now. King e6. Okay, F F four is also hanging. Okay, now I'm getting a pass pawn. Let's just get this king away. So he really doesn't want to lose. I can. I'm getting that feeling. I'm not sure what his game plan now is. Okay. Okay, you resigned. Okay. So berserking is my is my superpower. This guy got such an ugly name. <laughs> VUT, how are you guys doing? Winsovich. I'm trying to remember who was that player that just owned the tournament last week. You're getting berserked back, buddy. You both need points desperately, but you've been doing too badly. Let's try um often knight takes f6 and c6 this, and maybe he blunders. He doesn't blunder. To take and then to take is a lot better for me, but I'm moving too quickly to play accurately, remembering lines and stuff. Not that I'm remembering lines, I'm just remembering um, what's the line, remembering why it's better and not actively thinking about it. The moves in the opening just kind of flow, which is a bad thing. And I'm thinking about super lion, happy to see someone berserk back. Hoping to get this bishop involved, some nasty action on this h7 square. And okay, let's give a pinaroni. Let's attack the pawn. This baby needs to develop. It's okay, it's got a nice square too. Let's yeah, so take the pawn. Thank you, Mr. And we can take here. Or we can start with another de developmental move. Uh, okay, we'll take here now. And we'll do some more development. But maybe first. Here. Okay, so up, up half a minute. Time hasn't been too bad so far. And really trying to break, break in on the. Oh, this guy's being strangely now. He's feeling the pressure. Okay, and now this should be close to game over. Oh, this pre move takes the queen. Okay, thank you, mister. Maybe that's three points. I'm on fire. The last 20 minutes, always. Yeah, easy. And Colson still unbeatable. But if they, why haven't they been playing each other? And see, well, I apologize for this, but the previous game I didn't berserk you and you beat me in any case. So I'm. Um, 
And this is not what I wanted to do. I actually wanted to play a normal open Sicilian. It's trickiness of the berserking. And even this d3 move is not what I... I wanted to go bishop here. <laughs> okay, so instead of complaining about what I wanted to do, I'm going to start focusing on what should happen. With 10 minutes to go, that should really be my plan. And that's a good move. Got to admit that that's a good move. Okay. Maybe bishop takes first. Okay. Slightly better. Okay. Questions, questions arise in my mind about this position and whether I'm playing correctly, but I'm not going to suggest better ways to play in the past. Well, just going on. Um, the oak wants to trade and build trade because it makes the game, the narrative of the game, closer to end game. He wants to attack that pawn. I'm going to centralize our knight. Pawns defended by the queen. And we'll defend the pawn. Create a real passed pawn. This is called a passed pawn um, trio. So like, when you've bunched your passed pawns. And here yeah, you can win a pawn if he goes to take the knight. But we're going to play c5 and then we're having fun with the real passed pawn. Okay, so the knight gets a great outburst. And okay, probably rook fd1 next. Okay, and I'm expecting uh, an exchange here, a uh, sack. Uh, yeah, but it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> I wanted to go pawn takes in my mind after making the move, I thought I blundered, but it wasn't a blunder. Okay, so rook cd1 next, most likely. And then nice things should be happening. If you're going to sack the, here, I could have, I can play now. Sorry, Eric's in here at this moment. Especially if this bishop moves. Okay, I can do so immediately. It simplifies, there's even, there's pressure on e5 suddenly. The dark squares can be weak, and my knight is just the monster on b5. It's a huge knight. Okay, and he, he's also going to get down into time time issues soon. And getting comfortable games like this really makes me wonder why I play so respectfully and slowly in the beginning. I should not be respecting these guys. And the queen can't even approach the rook. My king is quite cool, I think. If I'm getting more nonsense on the first rank, I'm going to be disappointed. Okay, so I'm not going to overthink that doesn't exist. Okay, and I'm welcoming trades. Okay, I'm dropping a pawn like this. So these pawns just need to roll. Maybe knight here first. Pressure on f7. Yeah, I'm gonna trade. Oh, that's that's a mightily big blunder. That's an ugly blunder. I I really and I should have gone there. Just try and make a draw. Probably not even getting the draw. Six minutes ago. I thought I thought the bishop needs to take in that equation as well.
Well, this is this is that's just the bummer. Okay. And I lost my streak as well. Would have been five points. Got to be disappointed with that. How are we doing? 111. Ticks. We're going to see new champs tonight. But, but, it feels like this guy, no wait, sorry, Colson. This Colson guy's been playing scarily good. Okay, and we, we won't berserk Marcia. Just an all game. And he likes this. It's Scottish. Bishop e3. Okay, so this is not usually what he does. And I usually go queen takes, and in the previous game I said that is not too great. So I'm improving. And okay. It's just confusing for a split second. Now, now I, I think I prefer white again. This was didn't do anything. It was just fancy. Um, not not even the way I wanted to relocate the knight. Okay, we're probably not getting the end of this game. We won't be seeing it. He has to go... This movie's king now, if he wants to try and trap my bishop and stuff. I'm hoping for some overexposure. Are you in f5 since i Let's play rook 88. Now... He could probably trap my bishop going f5 first. He doesn't see it. This rook's not defended. Gives me this way momentarily. This looks uh, But, um,. I know Messiah, he's not going to... The game won't be finished before the end of the tournament. Especially because of the plus one, but because he, so, he said himself he'd wait the game out if it's going to help another team by the end of the tournament. Now he's seeing some interesting things. Okay, so... Yeah, he should have played that earlier. Getting a nice position. Check, we should have seven. I wanted to move my king first in my mind. Why do you think of bishop a7? Okay, so I'm not going to centralize my bishop or do anything that could result in some trade. Or oh, mightily scary for this bishop now, but okay. This one remaneuvers. Okay, maybe one day this could be a tactic when the knight moves. Not here though. I need to get my bishop back into the game. And okay, a minute of the tournament left. 
Well, they might do better than me from the club. I hope so. It's always nice playing as a club. So you can actually want people to do better. He wants me to accept the exchange. I probably should. Yeah, I've got responsibility on B8 then. That's his idea. I'm seeing these things a moment too late. Rook A8 now. Now I desperately need to move C6. Okay. And he gives it to me, but now... It's a tricky position. He's definitely better. Or is he? He's probably just drawn. I need to force the rook back. And then if the rook leaves the file, I've got this discovery. And this pawn structure seems drawish. My double pawns don't really mean a lot. But okay, maybe there's a tactic here. So if I can go check now. I can attack the rook. Oh, but then he's got... So here, and rook takes, and rook takes, got rook b8. So I'll probably only have this move. Okay, and now it's important to try and keep my rook active. His rook's not active, it's guarding a pawn. King activity is also important. Okay, so he wants to, I think he wants to be clinical about this. Try and see if this is a winning end game for him. Now it suddenly feels good, this move. Maybe I should just wait. Okay, it's stressful. The tournament's already over, but two of us need to figure out if this is a draw or not. Obviously, I can move my rook away. No, I can lose the game as well if I want to. I'm, I'm, I'm blundering this, definitely. Okay, so much for playing for the win there, that's what he was bargaining on. And that's 15th place, okay, we'll do this again next week. See you came first, Coltsin. Lizzy from Adibas, but they never faced off, did they? Maybe in their last game. How about that game draw? Let's just, let's just see in terms of Leach's ethics. White offers draw, black declines, white offers. Okay, so very interesting game.
just thinking of seven stuff. And then in this position, probably just before the end of the universe, uh, the tournament, they got that draw in. And Madiba's A, not just X beating UCT. Well done. And from our university, we've got myself and then Pule, training mind, one point almost there. And Mandy, well, well done. And Umpa, Annika, Yudon with 10 points. Ivan, the new player, six points. Near this, Wi Fi 6 6. Um, trying to remember the guy's name. And Lost Souls, no idea who that is. Well, well done, everyone. And yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.